Good day everyone. Today we will teach you everything that you need to know about vouchers, how you can create them or void them afterwards. Let us go ahead and start. First, go ahead and log in to your admin dashboard and then go to sales. Under that you can find vouchers. This is where you can generate your vouchers and when you click generate voucher you will be provided with a lot of options first under type there is an option between time date time or data subscription and even a load and then for the duration you can choose between days hours minutes and then you can also choose how many vouchers you want to create So for reference, let us try creating one voucher. So let us set the duration for 15 days and then let us set the maximum download and upload speed to 5000 kilobytes per second. And as you can see on the lower end, there are boxes that says no expiration and allow pause. For no expiration, it would mean that as long as there is a value left on the voucher, if it is time or date, then the voucher can still be used compared to the prepaid load that even if you still have time or data left, if after 3 days it is going to expire, it will just go ahead and expire. For the allow pause, it would mean that the user can choose to pause his or her connection when he or she is away from the machine. And then for the number of vouchers, you decide how many you want, but for us, let us go ahead and set it to 20. And then the maximum users for voucher is just one person or one device. Now we can also set the price of this voucher. And for this one, we will set it up for 100 pesos. And you can also customize the naming of your vouchers. There would be options under the voucher character set. And then for the capitalization, if you want it to be lowercase or an uppercase. And for the voucher code prefix, this is if you want to set a character. And then for the voucher length, it would be the length of the voucher code. That will then serve as the identity of your voucher. Now that we have multiple vouchers generated for the system, we can now go ahead and try to check if our voucher works. Let us now try inputting one of the voucher code and see if it works. And yes, it works. So our voucher that was generated works for our devices. Now let us go back to our admin dashboard so that we can monitor the status of our generated vouchers. And as you can see, since we have used one voucher earlier that is under the code of TISTCP, then that voucher was marked by the system as already activated and cannot be consumed anymore. Now that we have our vouchers on our system, we can actually edit the vouchers if you want, even if it is already activated. You can click code and it will highlight all of the vouchers. And then you can go click both edit vouchers. Here you can modify all of the vouchers, even the ones that are already activated. You can also go ahead and download all of your vouchers on the Excel. You just need to click the download spreadsheet option under the bulk edit vouchers. So when you do that, a copy of your vouchers will be generated in the form of a spreadsheet. And that would be all for today. I hope you have learned something new about the vouchers. Thank you and have a good day.